for CBC course, class 5, and topic is percentage, and exercise is 6.1, 6.2, etc. Question number, exercise 6.1. Question number 3. Express each of the following as percentage. Number A, 86 out of 100. Answer. Eighty six by hundred equal to eighty six percent. B forty nine out of hundred right forty nine by hundred equal to 49 percent next c fifteen out of hungry c answer Fifteen by hundred equal to fifteen percent. D ninety five out of hundred equal to ninety five by hundred equal to ninety five percent. Next. For exercise six point two, six point two, question two. Express each fraction as a percentage. Here A twenty seven by ten equal to write it as n to 10 numerator, n to 10 denominator, because in denominator place, we should have to get 100, and so 10, 10 is 100, to 7, in the 10, 270, and so it is 270 percent. Next question, 1 is to 4 by 5, we 1 is 2, 4 by 5. It is mixed fraction, so we write 5 into 1 plus 4 equal to 5 into 1, 5 plus 4, 9. And multiplying it by 20, we have in denominator plus place 100. 90 is 18, 180, so it is 180 percent. Next, for question 2, C, 13 by 20, we multiply it into 5 in numerator and denominator. So, 20 into 500, 13 by 65, and so it is 65 percent. D, 8 by 200 equal to 8 by 200, we divide it by 2 to get 100 in denominator, please. So dividing 200 by 2 it is 100 and it is 4 and so it is 4 percent. Next question 3. Express each of the decimal as a percentage. Next question 
concentrate a point five six four point it is one in the numerator place and two digits we write two zeros and the matter is five six that means fifty six five hundred and it is fifty six percent next b point zero two we write it as in denominator place four point one and two digits two zeros and it is two so it is two percent for question three c point two three write four point in denominator place one and for two digits two zeros twenty three and so it is twenty three percent d point zero five in denominator place four point one and for two digits two zeros it is five equal to five percent that is completed next question for exercise 6.3 6.3 for take question 1 express its percentage as a fraction in the simplest form a 40 percent so we write Or percent in the denominator hundred forty. We divide it by twenty because twenty divides both number forty and hundred. Forty by twenty is two. Hundred by twenty is five, and so it is fraction fifty percent. Question B. Equal to the number is hundred. It is fifty dividing by fifty. It is equal. It is one and it is two. Next question C for one. It is twenty-five percent equal to denominator is hundred, numerator is twenty-five, dividing by twenty-five, both numerator and denominator. We have it is one and it is four. It is also a fraction one by four. D eighty percent denominator is hundred, numerator is eighty. And dividing by twenty, we have it is four and it is five. For one, question is E six percent. Equal to six by hundred dividing by two. We have it is three. It is fifty. F. F is forty-five percent. Right. Numerator is forty-five, and then into hundred divide five. It is. Five nine forty five, five two hundred twenty times. Next question to express its percentage into its equivalent fraction and decimal. Question two. Percentage. Number A, one is to three by five percent. We'll take out 
5 into 1 plus 3 equal to 5 under 5 plus 8 by 5. So, fraction. Fraction is 8 by 5. Next, decimal. Dividing 5 to 8 1 times left 3.3035630 question b question b 6% equal to 6 by 100 dividing by 2 it is 3 it is 50 so fraction is 3 by 50 and decimal 0 0.30 it is also 0 300 300 is 6 times 0 0.06 next 17.5 percent Question is C seventeen point five question. So it is ten into hundred or percentage is hundred one seven five dividing by twenty five we have ten into four it is seven. So it is Forty divided by seven. So fraction is seven by forty. Seven by forty. Decimal is point zero seventy one times the thirty three hundred three hundred seven times twenty left two hundred forty for two hundred five times. 0.175. So for C, fraction is 7 by 40 and decimal is 0.175. D. D is 10.5 percent. It is also 10 into 100, 105. After cancelling by 5, 21, it is 2, so it is 200, and above is 21, so fraction is 21 by 200, and dividing we have point zero two hundred ten. it is 1, left 10, it is 100, it is 0, Next thousand to two hundred into five thousand. So for the for the ten point five percent fraction is twenty one by two hundred and this minus point one zero five. Size six point four question find the value of the following percentage number one forty percent of two hundred gram twelve hundred gram forty percent of twelve hundred gram is equal forty by hundred into twelve. 100. After cancelling, we have 
zero 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 fourteen to twelve. Photo the forty eight forty three gram. Next fifty percent of thirty days. To fifty percent of thirty days equal to fifty by hundred into thirty. After cancelling zero zero and this zero this zero, we have five into three, so it is fifteen. Next twenty five percent of eighty meter. Eighteen days. Next is twenty-five percent of eighty meter. This one three. Here we go. Twenty-five by hundred into eighty. After cancelling zero, zero. By five for twenty this two for twenty five this five. By two for eight it is four. So five into four. Five for the twenty meter. Next four sixteen percent of rupees one zero eight. This one four. By four, it is four. It is twenty-five. So it is twenty-five. Four into one hundred eight. Four is thirty-two. Net three. Four zero zero. It is three. Four into one is four. Four forty three. Four four hundred. It is one dividing. Twenty-five one zero eight. Sorry, four thirty two is one. Thirty-five is eight. It is one. One eighty two. Seven one seventy five. Subtracting the seven point the zero. It is two times. It's fifty twenty the zero two hundred. Twenty-five is two hundred. Twenty seventeen point two eight rupees. Next twenty percent of two minutes. Cancel. All right. It is ten. Twenty to four equal to point four minutes. Next question: twenty percent of one by eight. See. Twenty by hundred into one by eight. Cancelling by four is five. It is two. Equal to two hundred. It is five. By dividing two hundred to five point it is zero 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 five hundred. It is two times four hundred. It is hundred. It is zero five times one thousand. And so on. Point zero two five. 